Two dumbasses in the mic. <laughs> oh shit, son! They have two guys playing with your junk. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know that about myself. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm on the moon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Jay Smith, Max Torbachkin, it's another damn good show. That escalated quickly. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is that, is that good? Is that this? Is... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. I, I can't even drink coffee. You gotta stop jacking off. Dudes with, I, with, dude, with big... if, if, uh, if I can get like a cyborg arm. If I can afford that, I'm doing it, bro. I'll get the doctor to put in an extra feature, too. It'll be a rapid bang on this middle finger here. I'll do it. It'll be like... Come here, baby. Is Daddy's it going to make that noise, too? <laughs> it's gas-powered, you know? I can't afford the fucking solar power shit, dude. Solar power. I got to get the gas, man. I'll run on yeah, diesel. You have a tank. <laughs> <laughs> you look like... Well, well, it's cyberpunk, man. You look like World War II, the one that, you know, they were burning in the German position. Yeah, right? <laughs> With a big tank on the back of you. Daddy's home. <laughs> smoke coming out of the back. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck global warming. I got sex things to do. Oh. Since you deal with paint and everything, I was uh, talking to somebody today in a paint department. Mm -hmm. They are saying some lady came in asking for hemorrhoid paint. What? Hemorrhoid paint. Hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid paint. That's what somebody... There's... <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, that's why. <what laughs> Hold on. We got no, right no, 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 no. They, they were trying not to laugh. And then they also have so many questions they want to ask her. Like, you know, is it, is it, is it, is it a new hemorrhoid? Is it all hemorrhoid? Do you need a hemorrhoid primer? You know, how do you tape? Do, <laughs> do you prime first? Yeah. yeah do, you, do you tape, uh, tape you know, tape the area off? You know, before the... You get a mask. <laughs> do you mask the <laughs> you hemorrhoid? mask around it? <laughs> With a big bullseye on it. Honey, come here and mask <laughs> this bitch off. We're going to paint this hemorrhoid out of existence. <laughs> yeah. So basically, the talk, they had a manager there talking, talking, and finally figure out what she was asking. She was asking for hammered, like hammer paint. Oh, like hammered metal. Paint. Yeah, the, yeah. The faux finish. Yeah. <laughs> Hem hemorrhoid paint. What I'm country like, was she from? American. No accent. What? American, no accent. Oh, my goodness, English is the dude. first language. Was she a baby-making machine, like the girl I sent you on Facebook? Uh, what she, no, well, I didn't see her, but I, uh, you know, but yeah. You assume yes. I'm assuming. You're like, oh, get a baby in her belly. Hemorrhoid paint. <laughs> <laughs> I just have so many questions. If somebody came up to me, I'm like, fuck. We need that girl to fucking make some babies. You know what happened to me once? <laughs> this is one of those drinking moments. Like the hold my beer. It was the famous watch this. Mm -hmm. did, oh, did sidetrack? Totally, just showed that ass right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thug Rose just did a fucking naked shoot. Thug Rose from UFC. Uh huh. She's the shaved head chick. She's super pretty. Mm hmm. Check that out. Though. So she does. She has a big penis. Pretty much. She talks it though. She's good. At, she's a good talker. <laughs> you don't know if it's a nut sack or a penis. She's hot. But anyways, back to my uh, Soccer, my thing. Clit. I was uh, riding. Me and uh, Aaron years and years ago used to ride our our bikes downtown a lot. Uh -huh. And we'd go drinking, so we'd start at one bar and just work our way around, and we'd come back fucking trashed, uh -huh. riding our bikes. <clears throat> and uh, there's the street and then the gutter, you know, on the next side. I was going to go up and bunny hop over the gutter mm -hmm. and over this little dirt area. No problem. I do it all the time. I go, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hold my beer. I go right. running up, man. And I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I never even lifted up the bike or nothing, man. I just rode straight into the fucking curb. <laughs> dude, it sent me sailing, dude. I went flying, and then my bike came up behind me, so I hit the dirt. Bang! I hit my face, uh -huh. and then the bike. Bow! Right in the back Perfect. of the head, man. Split me open, dude. I was bleeding fucking like a sieve on the way back. Did it you was learn a lesson? Unbelievable. Yeah, I learned that I should probably uh, pull up when I go to Bunny Hop. <laughs> next time. Mm -hmm. Next time. Dude, I look like I had really <laughs> fucked with you. Because know, you know you don't have much meat on your head. So when you get a cut there, you bleed pretty bad. Yeah, you know? yeah, it was scalp. Yeah. And all it was all a, it's still pretty good long ways yeah. home. And I had been drinking a lot. So the blood was flowing good. By the time I got I go walking in the door, everybody was like, <gasps> oh my God, what happened? Uh, I see. That would have been on YouTube everywhere right now. Yeah, I actually would have because it was fucking redonkulous. Dude, today is kind of thin. Look at it. 
Today I fucked up by almost destroying my dick using a yo-yo. All right, let me read this. What? By what? It's some. He went to Walgreens with his parents, and then he decided to roam around the place. Isn't that, uh-huh. this, wow, Michael, this is too long. Is this a kid? I guess. All right, you should probably pre-read that kind of shit. That seems like. Oh, I wrapped the string around the base of my erect penis several times to spread the pressure. I placed the plastic part behind my balls. Hey, you know what? Turns out yo-yos were Satan's sex toy. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that story? Oh, it's on Reddit. Oh my god. I did this for several days gradually, tightening the string and keeping it on longer to overcome the increasing numbness. After two weeks, I end up falling asleep with a yo-yo, tighter than ever. <laughs> I woke up after an hour, I was shocked to see my penis. Holy shit. It was almost black-purple. <laughs> Couldn't feel anything. Never saw yo-yos the same way again. <laughs> that is so fucked up. <laughs> At the end, the highlights. Realized yo-yos aren't sex toys. Promise God to stop fapping. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be made up, dude. That's ridiculous. Nah, I'm pretty sure this is real. Like, this is people saying, yeah. Uh, what do you think the weirdest things that doctors have ran into like that? Guys doing dumb shit like that. Light bulbs in the ass? Well, I've heard of some dumb shit in the butt, but I mean, like, mangling your penis. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Like, yeah, just doing that. fucked up shit. Like, you know, some sickos try to put shit in the penis. There's websites for that. What? Yes. Dude, how do you know this shit? It pops up on, like, Pornhub and shit. I've seen a lot of porn, Max. Oh, I've man. never once seen <laughs> penis up. insertion videos, Dude, man. there are. All right, right what, what's your... What, show me the bookmark. I don't have a bookmark. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Look at that bookmark. smile. That's the smile of somebody who's got some penis ins- insert. I do not bookmark porn. What do you call that kind of porn? Is that, you know, there's all kinds of, of I don't know g- what genres. I know there's a junk mutilation porn. Like right. a What's the site for that? <laughs> junk <laughs> dick <Just laughs> mutilation porn. You think that's too extreme? I might get a call from Google. Like, are you using your computer? Is that somebody else? <laughs> FBI watching. Extreme penis mutilation videos. Oh, oh yeah. my oh, god, yeah. it's real. Click on that. It's Click on that. real. <laughs> Today I fucked up by jacking off with Tabasco sauce. <laughs> dude. That's made up. No, dude. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're watching the video? Oh. oh I don't want to see. No. Yeah, you do. You want to see <laughs> that oh. shit. Look at that. It's oh. held open with a miniature specula, specula, oh. whatever you call that. Oh. So this is how we're going to start. You're foreign. You're into that weird this shit. Is, this is how right? we're going to do this show. Sure. <laughs> which is which one do you think we're we should going? do? We should do this one. This one's called Extreme Penis Stretching. No, dude. This is not the worst. This is on heavyr.com. If this isn't the worst, we're not going deeper because this is disgusting. I'm probably already in deep shit. Oh. <laughs> the, the punish tube. <laughs> what is it? That's a dick? <laughs> oh, he's putting it in. He's inserting... The little device uh, that spreads open uh, the end of your dick. Uh, I didn't know that they made those tools. You think that's a custom item? That's Where do you buy that at? Home Where would Depot. you get one of that, those? That's actually that is a Home Depot made one. Look at that. There's nuts and bolts on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's spreading it. Look, he's uh, still going. Uh, you wouldn't think you could get your hole open that wide. Uh, Look how wide he got it. <laughs> it looks like elephant trunk. <laughs> Oh, my <laughs> God. Like he, he grabs the sugar cubes. Yeah, look like this. <laughs> if that's all you saw. It's oh, like, did I pause it? It's I like a I worm. I paused it. Oh, dude, seriously. Oh, oh. 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 that hurts. No, oh, it's still going. What did, they hurts. must be getting ready to do something really crazy now. Oh. What is he doing? Oh, dude. So he's just sitting there like, oh, is he doing kegels? Wait, look, there's something right there. Do they have a lasso around it? Look, they got something around the, the bottom of his dick there. I think this is pretty, uh, dude. Are you getting hot? I think I've seen enough. Oh, he. There is. It's a zip tie around his fucking cock. <laughs> He's got a zip tie around his dick. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that's enough of that, dude. No, when I said worse, I've seen when a freaking some chick just stumping on somebody's freaking winner and it's bleeding everywhere, just exploding. Have you seen those monks oh. that do the... the they Punching? sit there and kick each other in the nuts? I don't see the point of it. I don't either. Like, why? 
It's like, I have trained myself to, have, to where I can be kicked in the balls repeatedly and it does not affect me. I'm like, why? How often are you getting kicked in the balls exactly. in real life, man? Exactly. I've been kicked in the balls like twice in my entire life. Totally by accident, both times. Was it, was it like sexual? Kids, no, kids. <laughs> fucking, hold, you hold your kid up like this. Ah, there he is. Boom, foot stomp on your nuts. And it's fucking, any father will tell you. It happens a million <laughs> times. Oh, look at you. You're so, oh, God. Oh, take him. Take him. Take him. Take him for a minute. <laughs> Dude, this is a motherfucker, man. Oh, uh, shit. The baby foot stomp is the fucking worst. Uh, hey, you know, I'll... Oh, uh, Dude, I'm still freaking Should scarred. we bring this in? Like, like, uh, uh, oh, I'm already over that shit. <laughs> Dude, all I can think is like a giant... You're the one that said it existed, so we had to see it. That thing looked like freaking, you know, Dune, the movie? Remember the The sandworms? The sandworms. It did, like, It looked like a sandworm. So it was a little uh, uncircumcised penis, <laughs> fully shaved. He looked like... Uh, like I don't even know how to describe like a little alien scrotum or something there. Totally pasty white. You know it was probably a German dude or something. They're into that weird awesome. specula shit. And fucking, uh, that was clearly a specula. I think I'm saying that right. Isn't that what they used uh, to open so. up the, vagi- yes. the vagus? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a homemade freaking. Uh, yeah, nuts and bolts style. from Home Depot. Maybe yeah. Ace. I don't know. Uh, do you think those were stainless? Probably. I don't know. You could I probably so. make that device for under 20 bucks. I Maybe it's lead. Made out of lead. Ooh, get lead, lead. poisoning your dick. What would happen hey, from there? Maybe you sensation. could become a superhero from that. You know how weird things like make superheroes? <laughs> what would your superpower be? If I you- am Spider-Man. <laughs> well, how did that Well, happen? you can shoot jizz everywhere, and that's your fucking... That's how you swing around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to shoot it twice in a half hour. <laughs> you have to wait. I have to recover. That's so mature. <laughs> I'm a G Spider-Man. You're Spooge Man. Yeah. Spooge Man. I only save two people a day and then I have to recover. <laughs> then I gotta sleep for a little while. I need a little nap. <laughs> Give me a couple hours. Give me a couple hours. <laughs> Don't wake me up. Jesus. <laughs> so long. <laughs> so horrible. If he eats asparagus, it just stinks. You're like, oh, oh Spooge Man's been here. That thing will hit the freaking uh, eat asparagus. The mouth on it just. <laughs> that thing looked like I'm telling you that's looked, how he feeds his superpower <laughs> they're inserting asparagus in there <laughs> I don't know if I should give it like sugar cubes you know like an elephant trunk you know like oh, oh. you little guy <laughs> it is like a little elephant little elephant with yeah. a specula opening yeah. up his mouth yeah. oh yeah. so in a way it's kind of cute yeah. you can almost see like one tooth inside <laughs> Why do we do this shit, dude? God, this is a, a long conversation about somebody else's dick. I don't know, but it's a damn good show, everybody. Jay Smith here, Max yeah. Trubachkin, and <laughs> wow. for some reason, uh, Max knows a lot about no. I'm just saying dick this mutilation shit videos. Well, you said there's worse than that. How does it get worse than that? Somebody stumping on your dick with heels. With heels? Yes, dude. What side is that everywhere. on? I, Pornhub has it. Pornhub has he- heel stomping videos? Yes. Pornhub has everything. I never go that deep, man. I'm a pretty simple guy. I like POV, you like, you some like, big tits. You, you like on the first page? Yeah. Yeah, that will do. Pretty much, man. <laughs> you actually on the first, the ad pops up, the five second video. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm done. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm done. <laughs> Unfucking believable. <laughs> anyway, it's just. So, uh. I thought you're walking away. You're like, I'm done with this shit. Not taking this thing serious. All right. Well, we'll let's get away from the dicks for a little bit. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's talk about serious subjects. seems to be a running thing. We can just call this the dick podcast for some reason. <laughs> dick. You know what? <laughs> you think we may be gay? Maybe we're gay, dude. I, don't uh, know. I know you might be. Well, you, you got know. that look in your eyes. Everybody, every, everybody's gay once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I was on the way here tonight. and uh, we well, well, sometimes. <clears throat> I'm on the way here, and then I'm just sitting there thinking about how dumb some people are. And right in front of me, there's this fucking little piece of shit car, mm-hmm. and they got the stickers that just scream out, I've got drugs in my car on it. Like, just little... Like uh, coexist? <laughs> <laughs> you just find a lot of vegans in those cars. But, uh, like, drugs. you know, like, uh, legalize it, and the, the, the reggae stickers, and then the fucking little mm. Grateful Dead Bye stickers, heads. you Bye know. Heads. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, clearly, it's, it's just screaming, I have drugs in the car. I look in, they all look the part. They all, you know the look. They're just hippie. What's the look? look? Explain it to me. I, I used to be that look. That used to be me. Long haired dudes, hippie looking chicks, the shit hanging from the rear view mirror. So, just saying, you're very professional right I'm now? I'm looking in there and I can see them lighting up a joint, 
<laughs> passing it around each other. They're all they're in there dancing and they're having a good old time in the car. And I'm like, what kind of car? A uh, little piece of shit. Uh, it's old. It starts with the C. Civic Honda Civic. That's it. How did I know? Little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good on cars. I'm not a big. Was car it guy. lowered? No, it was a piece of shit. It was an older, older car. All right. So, um, I mean, it's real clear what they're doing in there. Uh-huh. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, these are the people that get busted on cops all the time. Yeah. The show. How many of those shows do you have to see of those people making the exact same mistakes that you're making right there? Uh-huh. If you're going to do illegal shit, at least be sneaky about it. So here's the thing. I'm behind them watching it. I'm, the light's taking forever. I'm right there at Park Boulevard and 34th. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, look at these fucking dummies. I'm smiling. I can't help but fucking be like, yeah. fucking dumbasses, right? Yeah. One dude looks back, sees I'm looking. And all of a sudden he's like, oh! And they all just... Like, so obvious, like, oh, yeah. shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, be cool, be cool. And then you could tell he goes, don't turn around, because they all go. <laughs> 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 they're all looking at me. I'm, like, waving, like, fucking dumbasses, man. That's how I just. Uh, well. How does that keep going like I th- that? I think part of it is so acceptable now, like, uh, by general public. Like, everybody, politicians not talking about legalizing all yeah. that shit. And it's weird. So everybody like, oh, you, you, the cops don't know about the stopping anymore. That type mm, of shit. Nah, I don't know about all that. But yeah. it, it, it was so obvious what they were doing. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I was a bad kid. No mm-hmm. bullshit. I did horrendously, horrifically bad shit. <laughs> we stole shit when we were kids. We smoked pot since the time I was 14. Mm-hmm. We did all kinds of shit. I never got in trouble. Never. I never got caught. <laughs> we never fucking... Well, not none of that shit mm-hmm. because we weren't doing dumb shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, but like I said, you were afraid to get punished or whatever. You know, like that. But not. Nowadays, I mean, I got in trouble with my parents all the time, but it was for fighting at school yeah. or skipping school. But or, nowadays, they're probably like you know, the parents. You smoke weed, okay, not a big deal. You know, so now they're thinking that applies to everybody. They don't realize all it takes is one cop, basically, on a power trip. Yeah. He can bust which there's you. plenty of them. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, especially you see it all the time. Well, you know? to be honest with you, you're asking get... for it at that point. If you're flaunting it like yeah. that, like you're just like yeah. outwardly like, hey, party on, everybody. You kind of deserve what you get. What kind of music was playing? Uh, I, I couldn't hear. I, I don't think they had a good system or anything in it like that. So there was no music. It was just quiet. Well, and I, and they had the windows up. I, the windows were up. You could tell they were listening to rap though. There's certain movements like if you listen to metal, it's more of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rap music, they do this. Ooh. Mm, mm, what if it was techno? And they get it like the music's so good it makes them ugly. Like, mm. What was it? What, what oh, if it was it techno? Mm. Mm, I don't know. Techno usually doesn't go like this for verses. Mm, 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 mm. He's doing this. Rapper. I wish I was a rapper. Bunch of white dudes though. They're probably was, offbeat. What if it was Diane Tort? Uh, then you don't know. You know, I'm not hating them because of the music anyway. I'm hating them because how <laughs> dumb they were. Like. He's just screaming, pull me over, search my car, take me to jail, give me a fucking record. So, so what happened? For dumb shit. No, Light turned I mean, green drove, on you guys. Yeah, just drove off, went, went our ways. But I'm just, I just thought about it. I'm like, I see all these people getting in trouble, and that's it. Because it's, you make it so blatantly obvious that you're a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. It, Dude, it's, it, I think it's always existed, those people. So it's just... It's going to continue. It's the same people that you give advice, they don't listen to you, and mm-hmm. they do the same shit. It's like every generation got to have make, make that mistake. You just, you kind of deserve what you get sometimes. Like when you invite things into your world, no, I mean, you know, like, ah, oh, see, I did it again. Anyways, like just this morning, perfect example. I'm driving uh, to go, well, it was actually yesterday morning. I'm driving to go to work, mm-hmm. and on the way there, there was a bus in one lane. This lady has to switch lanes, go around the bus, and get back in front of the bus. Mm-hmm. Went off without a hitch. No problem. She comes over right in front of me. I mean, I didn't even have to slow down. She went, whoop, pulls right back over. Mm-hmm. And when she was back over in the other lane, I went past her. And as I go by, she's going, fuck you. Fuck you. And I'm like, what the fuck? I start laughing. I think it's hilarious. I'm like, mm-hmm. this lady is fucking really mad. I just drove by her. So I have to turn left on the street. And as she's going by, she's doing it again. Fuck you. Fuck you. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, Man, if I was a fucking psycho right now, I uh-huh. could go follow her wherever she's going. Like, you're yeah, inviting yeah. that into yeah. your world. You're bringing that. Are you ready to deal with the consequences if somebody goes fucking I wouldn't want to follow just to find out why. What's the reason? Yeah. Like, what did I do to you? Uh, I imagine you could probably get in trouble for some shit like that. Like, Well, you can get shot. 
stand you on ground if yeah, you come up well, to somebody's yeah, car. Yeah, I would never do Florida. something like that anyway. But I mean, dude, I'm in my past. I was very well known, fucking by all my friends that I was ready to get down. I fought people in the middle of the street. When I'm not proud of it, yeah. but there were times I never ran up to anybody's window though. It'd be like something would happen. He'd be like, motherfucker. He'd be like, motherfucker. He'd be like, you want to figure it out? Yeah. All right. We meet in the street and fucking go at it. Squared circle, baby. Fucking tear it up. <laughs> you know, it, it, when you're 19, 20 years old, dumb, dumb shit. Dumb shit yeah. happens. But I never ran up to anybody's window or anything like that. But, but that's what I'm saying. Done. So you've done dumb shit. She's doing the dumb shit, too. Yeah, but see, is she prepared for that psycho to hop out of the fucking car, drag her out of her car? Is she? Is she ready to shoot somebody? I mean, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go up and fuck with her. But there are guys out there that are a hundred million times more psychopaths than me. I told you the story about the chick bumping my Jeep. Mm-mm. Just ask me a question. What? Yeah, at the stoplight. It's uh, on US 19. I'm sitting, you know, know, it's it was stick shift. I usually drive stick shift. So I'm like, well, well I'm, you know, sitting looking at my phone and I feel like my Jeep moving. I'm, I panic. I'm like, you know, maybe it's on an incline and I'm going, I'm going to hit somebody. Mm-hmm. I put the brakes on. I'm like, why is it moving? Okay. Let it go. Then I feel it again. I'm like realizing I'm being bumped from behind. I open the door. There's a chick there with a piece of shit car, like low. I can barely see her in the rear mirror because Jeep's sitting high. Uh-huh. And on the back of a Jeep, it's all metal. It's fucking metal. Yeah. You like destroy a plastic car. She's nose bombing me. And I go, what the fuck? And she was like, which way to Walmart? Wow. Yeah. Happened. I thought I was on camera. I'm like, what? Like I'm, I was sold just blank at that point. Yeah. So this is the same kind of people. Crazy people. And my thing is, is I almost got out of the car, and then the light turned green, and I'm like, "This is, this is like, I'm done." So often, I've had it happen too. I, actually, this was probably last year it happened. This dude, uh, whatever happened in traffic, I don't remember, mm-hmm. but he was so pissed. Comes up talking all this shit to me, "Fuck you, blah blah blah," mm-hmm. you know. And my first thing is like, you know, "Fuck you," whatever. Mm-hmm. He slows down, fucking, and I'm like, "All right, fuck you, mo. You want it? You can get it if you want it." He drives off in front of me. I'm like, all right, well, fuck you then, right? Yeah. <laughs> Twist of fate, turns out, he's going to the same job site that I am. So he, he had pulled up a little bit before me, and I pull up, and now he sees me getting out of my car, and you can see the shit in his eyes. He's like, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how about now, motherfucker? What's up? Oh, hey, look, man. You know, I, I was blah, blah, blah. He's backtracking in. Like, he was big man when he was sitting behind his car all safe. Everybody is, yeah. And all that. But yeah. now, now there's no way around it. Like, mm-hmm. we're going to be on this job site together now. I'm going to be working here. <laughs> and every time I walk by you, I'm going to be like, what's up? How you doing, Bobby? Motherfucker. And, then, you know, I mean, the, and then so often these people are so willing to be like, ah. mm-hmm. and then when it comes down to time for fucking the pay the tax man, it's, oh, shit. Like, I, I don't understand how, well, I don't know if it's because where I grew up, where I grew up, if you ran your fucking mouth, mm-hmm. man, there's a really good chance you were going to get a redneck stuff in, stuff in his fucking boot down your throat. That's you know why I, mean? I don't do this type of shit. Yeah, I get I just, pissed off. I just go fuck and I just laugh and I just drive. That's I mean, it. it was a little lady too. She's yeah. like fucking so aggressive about yeah. it. I'm man, that <clears throat> it's happened to me before. Like old ladies will give you the fucking bird. That shit is so hilarious to me. Mm-hmm. I think it's the best shit ever, personally. <laughs> like old old ladies giving you the bird. Grandma, and all that. Go, grandma, like, go. So, oh, so she's, good for you. I yeah. love it. Good for you. It fucking yeah. kills me, dude. Oh, I find it cute. Yeah, when I yeah. do that shit. That was a trip this morning, though. I was like, this bitch, what if I was fucking crazy enough? Like, she was all in, like, aggressively leaning in yeah. the window and shit. See, stuff like that, uh, women, doesn't piss me off as much as when people drive like shit and, like, and then, yeah. they cut you off. Fuck no, you. Or, not, or, yeah. they, or they cut you off. And when you're at the stop, and then they didn't realize it was red light, and then you pull up next to them. And, you, and I'm like, I roll the windows down and go, what the fuck? You almost killed me. Mm-hmm. I'm literally just bought this car, and I'm registering it, and you just from right to left lane like this mm-hmm. not even mirror nothing you, I can see your neck is not moving I'm looking at them like ha ha like hey what the fuck they're like this yeah not, not even like turning the eyes mm-hmm. don't move they hear me I wonder I wonder like, if it's really? you know what when you're out in the country there's less people right people there's a lot less more people well, if it's countryside yeah I guess. it is yeah, and okay. I've noticed it when I go visit my parents <clears throat> out in Indiana and just different places I go people act different people wave to each other as they drive by mm-hmm. down the yeah, road yeah there's a lot less of that bullshit that me and you are talking about right yeah, now. Yeah. I think, and I've heard other people say this before, so it's not like my random thought or anything, but mm-hmm. there's a certain number of people that we get over. Like, say, that, say if you were in a group of 100 people 
you would act way more courteous to those hundred people because there's a good chance you're going to see those people yeah. all the time. Yeah. Once you get over, I don't know, 50,000, 100,000, yeah. whatever the number is, I think the importance of being respectful to people just mm. diminishes because there's so many people. Yeah. And it's just like, whatever. Fuck because that people guy. suck. And if, you'll, if it's people just as a human nature, just they suck. Mm. Okay. Not everybody's Gandhi. There's four. One Gandhi, there's thousands sure? of us. Yes. So, just saying. Apparently, the half of this country, we're all supposed to be Gandhis. No. People suck. Oh. And, and it's a good example. Like, you go to a metropolitan area, like New York. I love New York. and it, But it's so many people, you know, that you don't have no consequences. You're never going to see those people, so you can act like an asshole to them. And you can get away with it. So, you get emboldened and do it more and more. Mm-hmm. Good example why I'm saying that's the truth. Internet. That's exactly the same thing, just on the, the bigger scale. Yeah. Absolutely, you can yeah. get away with it. You can act all like that's why I love that video that that somebody did. Uh, it keeps on popping up, popped up on my feed again. And it's like a couple of years old, I think. Where trolling, playing Call of Duty, and a guy goes in uh, as a African dude. Like I don't know how he got it. If he talks like that, but he was like, oh, hey, I'm gonna, you know, like he talks like a warlord. Mm-hmm. And he just, and I don't know if it was a setup, maybe that was another thing. Once he started talking to somebody, and you know, like they're making fun of him and everything, he was like, Yeah, you, you, Bradley, Bradley Coop, you know, like he called him real name, live in Florida, you know, I'm gonna come, and he makes him apologize to him. Because, like I said, kids all fucking cursing him, making fun of him because, yeah, he can get away with it. Everybody's a big man. Right. And when he like basically tracked him to the. Oh, the, he was yeah. doxing them? Is that what he's doing? He, well, he. They were taunting him, and right? I, and, and, and he and, doxed them, figures yeah. out where they live. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's doxing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. You know, and they're like, oh, so if you uh, say so, and he's like, I'm sorry, sir. Like, you know, okay, now we can play Call of Duty. You know, like that, <laughs> that type of stuff, you know. It, but it was like, you know, it, and th- there's a whole actually series of him just uh, like messing with people, right. doing like voodoo. You heard of voodoo? And then he started calling them out by real names and it, because he pulls up their Facebook, you know, through right. IP addresses, through right. their account names, Steam ad- addresses, all that stuff. And it's freaking hilarious. People are like, oh, 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 okay. Funny how your attitude changes right yeah. away when you're confronted with that. You know what I mean? I just, I see it so often. It just blows my mind the people that do it. You know what I mean? Like, this person clearly, clearly has no no business trying to be tough to anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, but, and then, but, but it's always existed that way. It's always, it's always been there. Like, I can go back as uh, I used to play on CB early 90s in New York. Like, I bought CB right. I thought it was the coolest shit ever. And same thing. Hey, back in those days, we had a radio. <laughs> no, dude, it's you know, it's pretty cool. Did like, you crank it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Electricity, you know? No, it was it was like a <laughs> diesel operated. <laughs> Had to have a generator going. Was there a line for that too? It was in New York, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <It was in> New- <laughs> Dumbass. Go ahead. Anyway, so we used to mess with the freaking truck drivers. Like you would catch a truck driver going, and then there's people operating those uh, ham CD- radios. Yeah, like yeah. in New York too. Like I guess. Well, it's actually a whole little subset yeah. of people. It's all it, over the whole. But country. I didn't realize it was like you know in Bronx, like in a freaking high rise. Mm-hmm. There's actually I found a person that realized it was a freaking person I knew that bumping all the time, like freaking five floors up doing the same shit. But we were like trolling people and stuff. All right. You know, and it's like, and because you can get away with it, there's no nothing. Like you're not gonna find me and that type of shit. You right. know? So, it's yeah. all it's always existed. It's just now on a bigger scale because technology brings everybody closer. So, it's kind of like prank calls. Yeah. So I night, think the CB yeah. thing was more like prank calls. Yeah, I did actually prank calls too back in Russia. You weren't too. prank calling people and then saying racial shit or anything. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I used to record people back in Russia. I had a big production uh, because my mother's singer. You know the what you call the How long track. Was the line for that shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to dial a number with a you know with a freaking there was no push button. Wait, so you had the the reel to reel. Yeah, yeah. My friend had one of those, and I had all the equipment to splice mm-hmm. it and everything, mics, everything. So my mother doesn't know. She would go, she would work at nights and you know sing and shit. Mm-hmm. Me, I'd like start dialing random numbers. It was like I didn't have a phone book, nothing, just random numbers and people. Back in those days, yeah. you could just dial a random number and yeah. get people to talk to okay. you. You'd say things like, hey, is your refrigerator running? <laughs> you better go catch it. <laughs> yeah. be, you'd be like, operator, please dial a random number for me, please. You had to go to the No, I didn't. Oh, I was no, I'm just fucking with you. No. no, it was just normal. Like, and I would tape it, record and play it back to them, and then record that. Dude, I, I, all night I'm like splicing it, listening, splicing it. Like I have to guess where the audio ends, you know, like all this shit. Like, oh, my God. Man. That just, sounds brutal. Yeah, things are a lot easier now. I know. Yeah, like you're like oh, I guess there's no. I think crank calling is the thing of the past, though. You can't really do it anymore. Caller no. ID ruined everything. I know. You know what I mean? That's why you do trolling. That's really the progression. Yeah, I guess gaming and uh, just I don't know. Freaking forums were the first form of trolling. You know what though? It's kind of an art form though. 
Like I kind of yeah. like I kind of like a good troll, man. I got to be honest. I like to. But I like even if I don't agree with somebody yeah. on some shit. Like you got to give respect to some of the funny shit, dude. Dude, uh, I remember actually like when I had to fight the trolling. Probably the first thing I ever bumped in somebody doing it purposely was on Cali Cops. Oh yeah, for sure. On the I I remember when we were running uh, two fort all the time on the server instead of hunted, mm-hmm. and I enabled the custom sprays. Yeah. You can spray on the wall. People were putting porn all over the oh, place. Oh, dude, there was a gifts when I figured yeah. out how to do Everywhere. animate it. Yeah, there would be like freaking dick Gay flying like this. And yeah, and I, and I remember watching this shit staying for like minutes on the wall, and I'm yeah. watching, spectating, see who sprays it again. Right, and like waiting, waiting, stop playing, and it disappears. Then you see some guy run up. Some medic, yeah, he looks left and right. <laughs> Does the dick again? Go. Like, Son of a bitch! I that shit was are. funny though. Yeah, it was kind of a game all in itself, trying yeah. to catch people cheating yeah. and all that. But kind I was of shit. laughing my ass off because that was like I'm going, I'm how looking many, at this dick. <laughs> how many hours do you think we wasted sitting in spectate mode, oh, trying to God. find people that were cheating and all that hours shit before you could fucking before there was any good software to catch cheaters? I know. I would get like a lot of times go, oh, fuck it. And then I just play and then I would get lucky and bump to the person that's doing the shit. I'm like, oh, gotcha. Uh, I got you, you Finally. motherfucker. I'm going to ban half of your city if and, I have yeah, to. And, and, I, and I would look, see, what's the IP address? Okay, yes, got yes. you. You banned forever, motherfucker. You yeah. guys were too nice half the time. I would uh, iron fist ban to everybody. If you fight around, I was <laughs> like, you're gone forever. <laughs> well, I didn't want to like, you know, scare people. I want them to come back and play and shit. So, hey, you know. I don't know. I always looked at it as an extension of my house. Or our house, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. if you come in and shit on my carpet, you don't get to come back. You gotta go. What if it's a linoleum? It's waterproof. <laughs> it's still, Easy cleanup. Oh, you're one of those kinds of guys that likes to get shit on your chest. Is that I it? said linoleum. Did, yeah, well, I'm just saying. Not on the chest. If you know, all, you know about all this <laughs> freaky shit. <laughs> internet ruined me. I'm I finding a lot of crazy shit. I wonder if the internet actually created that. Like, I had never heard of people that were into fucking getting shit on before the fucking internet. I'm pretty sure it's existed before. It's probably, you probably had to go to this dirty freaking, like, store in the back of 7-Eleven. What causes that? You know, like, you're usually a product of your environment. You know, like, things that happen in your childhood kind of form your sexuality in a way. Sometimes. I wonder what the fuck <laughs> causes that. What you, sh- you shit yourself when you're six years old, then you're, like, freaking 40. You're going... Ooh, I remember that time. This is so years great. Old. How do you associate oh. the two? Or is it just the I feel young again. It, right? <laughs> The, just the depravity of it or something? I don't know, man. Or you, or you just fart randomly in front of a girlfriend and just suddenly, like, you, you like, ate some bad food and you, by mistake, like, mm-hmm. fart and it shit on her and she goes, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird, though? I was just reading an article. It was, uh, fuck, I wish I would have wrote down where it was. Um, they were talking about the shocking, amazing uh, percentage of women that, mm-hmm. are, that are not against, like, piss play or drinking piss and... I'm surprised. I, I was stunned. I'm like, that would probably be one of the fucking hardest things to bring up to somebody sexually. You know what I mean? It's probably the whole thing dominant thing because a lot of women, like, especially nowadays, they're all like, you know, we're equal, all that stuff, which is, you know, that I read it somewhere too. A lot of them like to be held down and fucked hard too. Well, so Most of them that are, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I, I've never found one that didn't. Yeah. So. No, like, and don't get me wrong, even the women that like to dominate, mm-hmm. in the end, a lot of them, like, oh, you know, dominate me, treat me like a freaking dirt. So that's what I think. Part of it is like pissing on somebody. I'm assuming, you know, I I, I, don't, I would not want to mess with a. Boner is over if you yeah. break out that play. Like, uh, I'm sorry, man. I, I can't. I can't go that route. And I'm not going to judge you if that's what you're into. But he's just nah. It seems like too much cleanup. Just clean up the smell like shit. You ooh, kidding me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's that's a machine. That's like a thing. How about piss? Is that the way you draw a line? Yeah, I'm not into that either. What if it's a little squirt? Well, I mean, a squirt. <laughs> <laughs> As long as it wasn't right in my mouth, you know? <laughs> what if it was like an eye? <laughs> what if you're down there doing your business, all of a sudden squirt, you're like, did she just, did you just, you just, oh! that's how, that's her, ju- <laughs> that's her judgment of how to find out if you're into it or not. She just gives you a little, just a little test. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, she does a little test and you're like, you do that. You're like, oh, that's, dis- oh, that's disgusting. Sorry. And then you go to bed. And then you wake up in the morning with a dream that's my pissing in your mouth, and you wake up with the biggest raging boner, and you're like, oh my god, I'm into this shit. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Shit. <laughs> okay, I guess. Piss in my mouth. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anything that I, I figured out I was into, and went, Damn, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, I see. Oh, you never know, though. I guess, it, well, apparently, I don't dig deep enough into the internet. You know about all kinds of stuff, dude. I spend you're, a lot of time on You're internet. a man of the world when it comes to the internet. The I'll funny, give you that. The funny thing is, I discovered all this shit years ago. I spent l- less time now on the internet. Because you have a girlfriend. Yeah, and I'm busy fucking all the time working. No, it's because you have a girlfriend. Well, the two. So, 
Yeah. Because she found out some of the shit you're telling me. I don't know. Yeah, she's she's okay. She knows. Yeah. She, uh, she, she, is she, she watching she, this? Is she gonna watch where we're opening up dicks with fucking scalpulas no, really, and shit or whatever? No. I'm pretty sure she's not interested in seeing that. Yeah. <laughs> but, she, you never know. Uh, what if, what, what <laughs> yeah. would you do if she was into it? What if, what if she saw that and she looked at you and was like, all right. All right, I guess trip to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to build something tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know if I could go that one, man. That was that's that just looks painful. Uh, my junk going to look like fucking elephant's trunk. <laughs> I don't know if I could do the zip tie thing either, dude. I don't know, dude. I've been... Sh- my sh- my kidney stones that procedure that's why they're shoving everything through so Ugh. yeah so after that i'm like <laughs> you're not gun shy you found out some things about yourself during that time i was out you? when they were pulling it oh my it's the worst feeling how'd you wake up huh rock hard <laughs> <laughs> and full of blood <laughs> yeah absolutely oh yeah. dude that was not even t- that that was the that, most horrible experience ever i don't even want to talk about it, it made me when you were telling me about it that one day <sighs> the the day you first were able to talk to me about it yeah when you're telling me on the phone you were getting kind of graphic no bullshit i even told you to stop remember <laughs> yeah. i was like dude you got it because it was like, like really the bile was rising <laughs> in the back of my throat because i just had so much empathy i was like yeah. putting myself in your place <laughs> i was like huh <laughs> I was like, oh, let's not talk about it anymore, man. I can't do it. Yeah. That whole two months of that shit, having those stents inside of you. Uh, man, the, the whole turning that kind of medical procedure into a sexual thing is, I don't, mm. I don't know. I, I, I just I always wonder how those things come about. You know, like like me, I know I'm a product of my, of my environment because of, like, my sexual preferences towards women. Like, it's always the, like, really <laughs> slutty fucking fast chicks, you know, fucking cool. stripper-type chicks, oh, you know, that oh. kind of... That that was always my history when I was younger, you know? Mm-hmm. I was into that kind of thing, and I grew up and got out of that. Well, I mean, you make the right choices who you marry anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, no strippers, you know? But uh, so, but then I, I think... It, I just think about what causes somebody to be into those weird things. Like... Uh, what was it like in Russia? Is it, it is it? What are they known for? Like you know how Germans are always into that that kind of shit, that kinky like S and M type stuff. I don't know. Different regions got different things. Are there some weird kinks over there? Like oh, we're gonna go in an iceberg and get naked. I don't think there's any kinks. I know like they'll up. Oh, you just keep on hitting something, and the camera just went out. We're gonna go ahead and pause oh. right here. Yeah, connecting. Hey, hey we're, we're back. back. Look at that. It's like magic. Yeah, I look pretty good. I don't know about you. You look swole. I have to leave that. I don't think I can. You got some water weight going on. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bulking up. Right. So, do Russian chicks? uh, Is it different? Kind of picking up on girls in Russia than it is here. Is it? Is there a big difference, or is it just girls or girls? Uh, If you're talking about being Russian over there and picking up, it's just like this. Yeah, I don't know. It's the same. Uh, Being an American, picking up Russian chick is different too. Oh really? If I was single, I would never date Russian chick over here in the United States. Why? Too bossy. No, they stoic. They are. A lot of them, I, and I don't want to generalize, but a lot of them here for the money. It's, dude, they are cold-hearted, freaking like soulless, comedicless, okay. fucking people. Like I keep saying, no, okay. that's just not, not no. dead behind the eyes, kind of a shark look. Yeah. Is that I what mean, talking about? Uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'll have fun having sex. I mean, it's, it, it, so it, that Russian bride thing is really a thing, then, huh? That's a that's a big thing. If it's a big thing, and the idiots who do falling into it, they regretting they it. They gotta get fucked over. Like the, they, they the odds get of that working. Is Here's the thing: you, the best case scenario, you get fucked over by her. Like you have some sex, and you broke. That's it, and then she goes away, and that's the best case scenario. Majority of it, the worst case scenario, she has an organization backing her up <laughs> yeah, to get right. in that position. The Russian mob, yeah. exactly what I've and, been talking about. And those about. people, you don't want. Uh, you're only hoping there if the guys that. So what would you call those people if they're not the Russian mob, Max? You Russian mob denier? Well, actually, here you go. Let, let me say that. You only hope that they are not Russian mob, but former military or former, like a lot of them went into that line of business. Sure. They're very polite. I mean, they got the they're, connections. They're very polite before they break your legs. <laughs> the other guys are absolute, like, freaking... Animals, right? they like, missing link. Right. They are animals. Complete lack of... Uh, just of complete, yeah. At least empathy. The, the, the military guys can get scary, too. I'm just saying they are scary, but it's at least, like, okay, you can talk to a person. The other guys, it's just, it's like... And like a missing link like there's a you know the well, so sapiens. all Russian yeah. girls are they can't be true no in, in America over there no over there it's it's normal it's just like normal dating and all the stuff they're usually more made up than Americans they always they don't leave house without freaking makeup they're usually like very decked out right looking for a husband well like you know how like 
like Hispanic girls are known to be kind of fiery. Yeah. You know, you got girls from this section of the United States or this way and that. There's no, there's none of that. There. No, they're all over the place. I mean, I know that you know, anal sex is not a big deal like here. Like people talk about it, like mm, porn star. <laughs> is that how they talk about it? Porn star. I'm just saying, like all of right? them, like oh, my wife doesn't take it up. Yes, okay. Mm. All right. Yeah, I thought there would be better stories than this. Nah, sorry, that's it. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's so Russians are just stoic, boring people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, that's a far cry from my neighborhood. My neighborhood was filled with. There was, it's weird because I have, like, I'd say thirty percent of my friends mm-hmm. went on to have successful lives. You know, Wally, Tommy, all of them. They they all went off and. Had regular, normal lives, successful. And then there was the other 70% had uh, one guy went into prison for murder, Mm -hmm. one guy for rape, one guy for drugs. There was just a line of stuff. There was just all these people I grew up with were just savages, dude. Like, yeah, but but you can check on them. I can't. Like uh, my life, I'm I'm that generation. No, no, no. This was while I was a kid. Uh, This all happened. So like these things happened. By the time I was in my early 20s, Mm -hmm. 21... 21 all those people were in correct i was 17 when i came here right so it's different i mean this is in between that thing didn't all happen that end year but i'm just yeah. saying well throughout that course of that that time uh I had some friends that went to jail for armed robbery i had you know what i mean it was just that that's what i I never got in trouble for shit the yeah. biggest thing that ever happened to me ever i got caught for underage drinking on the beach when i was 18 it was a ticket basically i mean i don't know like if if some of my friends are up in jail or not i know a lot of them like moved all over the world mm-hmm. uh but i mean when i was there i mean we did stupid shit like it was a very popular actually the discovery channel had tv shows going to abandoned buildings and abandoned silos mm-hmm. and it's usually eastern europe and it's usually some russian guy yeah my age it's right. because my generation we used to do like construction sites uh we used to go climb you know it's uh no floors like well, you guys abandoned everything too i just saw some pictures of the space shuttle pro- program in kazakhstan we're on, yeah. or something yeah, like we're that. On, yeah that was but that was like we just proved the point we can build it and that's about it because yeah, and then left it sitting there yeah because like dust all over. it was it was expensive the, the out of the whole shuttle program the only good thing how do we go from russian girls to space shuttles i don't yeah, know but, so anyway, far. but the build like so we used to climb all construction sites i used to climb the crib my mother doesn't know we used to play snowballs we have one hour recess like in school mm. all the way to like through high school and we would go freaking climb. I will climb. I've been in apartment buildings. Okay, you know, there's no floor to get to across the building. Climb. Where were all the girls? They were. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. So you didn't. You weren't chasing girls with all your time. Uh, there was like one or two I was chasing. That's like all I thought about. No, that was, dude. I was like, you know, 17. I was already in college in in high yeah, school. Yeah, you should have been trying to find girls. I was not a popular kid. Not an abandoned I was not buildings. a popular kid. You're not going to find chicks in abandoned. I buildings. was the leader of rejects. I was not a popular kid. Hmm. All right, let's dig deeper. Keep going. So you're in these abandoned warehouses all by yourselves. Yeah. Bunch of sweaty boys. Please carry on. <laughs> you're their leader. Really? Right? You're gonna, you're gonna... No, no. You're you're their leader. Let's let's get to the heart of the matter here. You're the leader in this abandoned building, and uh-huh. you're on a mission to what? Nothing. We're just running around. Just there's, there's no mission. There was no mission. No mission. No right? mission. Just free. Yeah, you know, feel the sunshine. We actually when you come out from the building. We, we set building on fire one time, and you know, I like stupid shit. I actually only did that in the woods. We had a little like little fire going. You know, when you're little, little like twelve, thirteen, mm-hmm. you first go out in the woods, you make your first little fire. That bitch got out of control so yeah. fast. Same thing with me. I oh used, shit! I used to play we never admitted to yeah. it though. They never knew. It well, they never. Uh, that, that I was. I got caught only one time uh, because my friend ratted me out. I set another building on fire. Uh, I used to play with fire a lot. Mm. My mother doesn't know, like I said. No wonder you weren't getting any girls, dude. Uh, Pyromaniac, yeah. hanging out in abandoned yeah. buildings. Yeah. I set the carpet on fire. I used to play with a gas stove. She still doesn't know. I actually set the carpet on fire, cut the little piece, and patched it. <laughs> she still to this day doesn't know I did that shit. Yeah, you better not tell her. She might beat you again. Ah, uh, please. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll punch her back. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, my one and only purpose in life was to get girls. That's that's all I wanted to do. Once I got to through pu- puberty, I was it was on. Yeah, but you see, back in those days when I was there, a lot of it was like education was very like seriously into beating your head. Like there was no question that you go to college. Like you're going there. Mm-hmm. So like we all you know in school Monday through Saturday, you know like all that shit. Like man, like when I went to college and I was 15 when I went over there, uh, it was completely different from high school and all that so stuff. So you weren't trying to pick up on college chicks at all? I was not a popular kid. I 
to be popular to get pussy, dude. Well, like I, there's geek chicks too. I, they I, need loving. At that time, at that time, there was. Oh, all... you the elitist leader. You were like, no, this mm. bitch has got to look better than that. Nah, that, that's what I was saying. You know, because I couldn't get them. I'm like, yeah, you, you would have took. She's not my type. I, I would have took anything. I remember begging girls at 14, 15 years old. Just let me put the tip in. Come on, just come on, just just the tip. We won't even <laughs> barely be in there. I'll barely do it. That was that fetch chick sitting on me. That's it, and I'm like, oh, I can't. But the first chick that I actually got to have sex with was out in the very woods that I set on fire. And she was like two years older than me. And I think Ooh. she just took pity on me. She was just like, I forget what all was going on. She's like, come on. And we went out of the woods. Lay, she laid on my shirt and then I fucked her in the woods. It lasted like two minutes. And then, fuck, <laughs> and then I never saw that chick again. I was scared to even talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> I sure that wasn't the woman right there that she sent me the video with meth. Oh no, no, no! This is maybe, maybe you ruined her. She for actually the rest looked of good. Life. I gotta give her credit. But you probably ruined I her. I saw her later on though. Uh-huh. It was not good. You ruined her. Oh no, 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 no! I don't you know broke, who ruined her. It was you, not me. You broke her will I'll, to live. I was like a fifteen-year-old kid. That's it. At you that ruined point. her. You ruined her. She was like nobody can match to this uh, two-minute goodness no, I got from no. I think ho hos ruined her. <laughs> ho hos well, and ding dongs. She she probably literally. You know, she probably food and cried eating those things, crying, thinking about. Right. Yeah. I don't know, man. I was always I was always around all the chicks that partied because you knew that they fucking yeah. gave out pussy. That's probably half the reason why I ended up partying as much as I did See, because those chicks put out. Not me. I was like I said, I was the reject. See, must not. I you should have smoked a little weed and got some pussy, there dude. Was no weed. You at might that have time. been cooler than you are mm, right now. I know. You, you know. could be cool like me. That that, that train has uh, been gone. <laughs> no, there's still time, dude. There's still time. There's still time. You're Wait still a in second. <laughs> Wait, you could have them in life crisis, right? All right, here's the plan. You buy uh, a 69 Camaro, right? <laughs> Check it out. No, 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 no. I'll help you with this. I'll come along for oh, the ride. Oh, okay. We both get, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna lift we get some hair me. transplants and go a beautiful mullet, dude. Full-fledged. <laughs> We bring the mullet back, right? <laughs> Full fledged with the it feathered back, and uh-huh. it goes back into the curly uh-huh. mullet, like the fucking primo days of the <laughs> mullet, right? We get that Camaro. All right, all right, all right. Cool. We get some like some cool clothes on, right? Oh, and at Hardy we shirts. The at beach. Hardy shirts, right? We cruise the beach, with and we pull up, and we like we jam some Night Ranger or something, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Sister Christian, sit on the hood. Uh huh. Suck, girls. Suck. You have to you have to shove them away to get out of there. Be like, get back, bitches! It's it, too many bitches here. Is it gonna be like you know, outside the high school? Hey, I like high school girls. I get all there and they stay the same. You trouble right there, buddy. Yeah. You uh, want to at least go to giggity, the college. Giggity. You can go all sit right. out in front of the college. Hey. Do some burnouts. Chicks love burnouts, dude. They love. I tr- ha- believe me. I have weed and beer. Hello. I got weed and beer. That used to work. I think now you gotta have like you gotta have better drugs. Actually, coke is a is a good one that'll get you some pussy for sure coke yeah I'm not so what you're it. basically saying we gotta become a drug dealers <clears throat> no just have drugs yeah okay that'll get your pussy is a, is, you is go to a titty bar and you, that's the key everybody's always wondering how do you bring home strip drugs so drugs. so is, so is your wife on board with this plan no for a midlife no, crisis no no no, no. <laughs> is she gonna be waiting in the car that secret <laughs> I might end up fucking ballless if she finds out about the <laughs> midlife crisis hold on a second plan. <laughs> <laughs> she, she'd be like just find out about the mullet she'd be like oh, those nuts gotta go <laughs> <laughs> what if you do balding mullet do like prodigy oh, remember right? the, the, the yeah, two yeah. ones I, yeah. I, I can do that side thing. Yeah. can you pull that off yeah absolutely I don't think I, I don't know I could get it back here mine thins out a lot right here <laughs> I could do like the it would go backwards like that almost like something like this <laughs> look like a dinosaur the one that spits into the your stegosaurus. face stegosaurus <laughs> all oh, those ones that could be the thing for me, though. And, and he will have animal his own in his. <laughs> t- 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 talking to the opposite sex. <laughs> <laughs> Just spits in her eyes. <laughs> and, he, and the mating dance began. <laughs> <laughs> me dragging her off to a van. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. The mating habits of your local Pinellas. <laughs> uh. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why you, you didn't have a sexual childhood, man. It's just those chicks there aren't loose enough. <laughs> Not for me, rude. apparently. <laughs> man, I was just surrounded by whores. They were everywhere. And wow. when it, you couldn't throw a stick without hitting a whore in the head somewhere. And be, oh, sorry, Tracy. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was not that lucky, sorry. Ah, oh, man. No. I could tell you stories for days. Eh. We used to skip school and then uh, hang out at different girls' houses and shit. And then uh-huh. it was always the trick 
into getting him to do shit it would be like oh let's play truth or dare or spin the bottle or some dumb shit like that you always hear those jokes but it worked it worked you see I, I was just doing stupid shit when I was skipping school yeah I was going to abandoned school. buildings yeah doing that stuff getting sweaty like freaking them. throwing bricks from a, at people on the streets you know from the yeah, abandoned that's buildings that's not a, that girls don't really no 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 I'm surprised I didn't kill anybody I didn't kill myself so yeah hmm. yeah I did a lot of dumb shit when I was a kid but that was usually when I was not trying to pick up pussy well I see yeah, that's that was my life. And I was a dork too. That's the thing. I should not have got pussy. I shouldn't have got it. I was yeah. a, looking back now. I look back at myself like, son, you were a dork. You Got to be honest with yourself. Nah, sometimes. Nah, you were not a dork. You probably were popular with a whole mm-hmm. hairstyle back back in those days. No, the one thing that I did. Have I was a dork. I hung out with all the older kids mostly. Well, I like, was a dork. Most everybody was two to three years older than me that yeah, I hung so. out with. So like. Uh, you know, I was roadieing for bands when I was 16 years old. Mm-hmm. Like, local bands. It wasn't that, like you were that, hanging out with Aerosmith. Yeah, but it's still cool. I, I would, no. Me, me I was it hanging out. put me in positions that I normally would never, like, I got into bars and mm-hmm. stuff at a very early age because of that. I did not look old enough well, at all. Yeah. And so, But that was the time when you could get away <coughs> with that kind of shit, too. Like, you could you could be 17 and hang out in a titty bar and not get Well, yeah, caught, back in those know? days, probably nobody gave a shit. So. They didn't give a fuck, especially if you had money. If you, which I did, so I, I come in there and no, you were a cool guy. You were not a dork. I was a dork. You were, you were, you were, mm, you were. I don't yours. know, dude. Like when I was in high school and all that shit, I was always walking around with my Lord of the Rings books and all that. shit. Yeah, like, but you had all the uh, what you call. You had all your friends that were cold. Me, like I said, it was the opposite. I had the the smallest kids following me. Uh, the the guys that because were, you could dominate them. No, because I was protecting them. Oh, actually, oh okay. You know, I get it. Protecting them, <laughs> right? Kind of like your own little mob. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much did they have to pay you? Well, you know, collection give me your time, lunch, yeah. Protection money. <laughs> Boris, give me your lunch money. <laughs> Igor, give me your lunch money. I like how those Russian names, Boris and Igor. That's Igor. it. That's it. This is Igor. This is my brother, Igor. <laughs> my cousin, Igor. Igor. <laughs> and that's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, actually. Does that ever happen? Do Russians ever take on like other, other countries' names? Like, is, is there a, like a, a Bob Torbochkin? No. No. Is that I'm even not, a common right, last name? Right now, no. It's actually very common. No. That's another thing. I got in a lot of fights. I'm cursed with a super common last name. It's yeah, fucking but horrendous. you can freaking disappear in the thin air. Kind of name, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I should have changed my name to freaking John or Smith or something like well, that. Well, Jason Smith is. They, what's funny is when I was younger, mm-hmm. like uh, I wouldn't carry ID or whatever. Sometimes I'd be out on the beach or whatever, and mm-hmm. you get stopped and be like, "All right, what's your name?" Jason Smith. I'd be like, "What's your name?" But <laughs> fucking around, kid. What's your name? No, serious, Jason Smith. Okay, okay. All right, give me all your information. I got to go through all the shit and wait for him to clear it. It's you know? John Smith. John Smith. That's the only thing worse. Yeah. 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 And what are you gonna do? All right. Well, I guess we kind of cleared the air about uh, why you, you got no, you got zero pussy. I know. I'm Probably not. Why a, you're I, I was not. Guy. Yeah. I know. Probably angry and not name? popular kid. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got a girlfriend now. Let's look at the positive. Exactly. Right? You I, got a girlfriend now. Absolutely. It's all good. All right. Well, I guess that takes care of our bullshit. <laughs> so uh, what's next on the menu? Well, we did want to create. A little thing now, like, you, since you've uh, kind of brought me into the fold of the internet, uh. right, we're going to do a new little segment for a little while. We'll see how long it lasts. We're going to call it Cruising Craigslist. Oh, okay? Jesus. So we're going to pretend <laughs> like we're out to pick up whatever, and we'll have to decide on what we're going to try and pick up, and we'll look. We're not actually going to pick anybody up, but we're oh, just going to see what's in yeah, it. Uh, yeah. I mean, that could get kind of twisted. i got to uh, explain that to my wife. Yeah. Your girlfriend might kill you. I, I don't know. Uh, what do you mean, might you? Okay, so... You go to the personals. We got strictly platonic women seeking weak women. You know all the things. You're on here every day. Ooh, what's rants and raves? Ooh, that's in personal. Click it, click it, click it. What the fuck click is it, that? Click it, click it, click it. Rants and raves. All right. All right. This guy's dick was so good. <laughs> that's the- it froze up again. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Dude, seriously, two in a row. This never happens until we're doing this. Craigslist doesn't like it. What the fuck? All right, we'll pause right here for a second. Angry. Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking out the episode. Our pause lasted a little longer than we expected. When we came back, uh, we'd already done so long. It was pretty much a podcast all to its own. And when we came back and started again, it went about another length of a podcast. So we went ahead and broke this up here. So uh, thanks for watching, the, watching this episode. Uh, the next episode will be out on Friday. 
Uh, in the meantime, you can go to damngoodshow.com and you can find all the other podcasts and information about the show. Uh, if you don't mind, you could help support the podcast by leaving a review or a subscribe and a like. Uh, share it with your friends. Let everybody know. We appreciate it. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Test. Testicles. 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 Testicles.